That's right, it's Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. You locked in with your boy, Reese. I got a friend of the show in the building. We were just catching up. <laughs> hey, Hello. there it is. K. Michelle is in here. We're going to make some noise for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good, man. You, yo, you, you always come with like the best entourage. <laughs> no, like for real. Family. I see you, man. Family. I got babies and everything. I yes, love it. And family. the baby is just, <laughs> just sleeping so well mannered. He has not looked one bit. <laughs> He's built for this. All right, we just kicking it right now with K. Michelle. She got a lot going on. First and foremost, I want to touch base because we just kind of talked about it. The Jack situation. Yes, turned out great for me. I see. Um. That's something I worked so hard on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, being the first African-American to ever be endorsed by Jack Daniels, I don't take it lightly. Mm -hmm. You know, I really handle my business with that. Yeah. And I love it. Like, I went in the lab and made the drink with a lady um, named Rita. Mm. And Wait, what you mean you made the drink? Like you, In you... the lab. It's a black girl magic. Right, um, I see. Rita works at Jack Daniels, and she creates the drinks. Okay. That you guys, you know, are drinking. So I went in with her, went in the lab, and we created Southern Peach. Wow. So you was like, I just need three drops of peach, and then I'm going to just rub my pinky finger well, in it. and she mixed then... and stuff because, you know, I can't legally. Right, 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 right. I we get mixed it. everything. We just tried the different flavors. One of them was like fuzzy peach or whatever, mm. but I wanted like the Southern Peach. Of course, I mean, and why we not? tripled sales. Say it again, because numbers don't we lie. Tripled sales, okay? It's an amazing drink, but to you know, you know, people kind of like count you out about something, mm -hmm. and you go and triple the sales. That's amazing. So we talk about black superheroes right now. We can't leave you out of the conversation. We talk about Black Panther now. We got to talk about K. Michelle tripling them numbers yeah. on that jack. So that's crazy to be the first African American to represent their brand, and then you breaking records. Yes. I That's what I'm good. talking about. <laughs> so next to all your platinum plaques, you got to put like a platinum mm -hmm. liquor bottle too? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. dope, man. I, I'm really feeling that right now. We, we kicking it with K. Michelle right now. We just talking about her amazing deal. I know you got some other stuff coming up too, but I want to talk about this song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just yeah. keep a hot girl summer alive, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. <laughs> I love the hot girl summer movement. I love to see women doing their thing. So right. I wanted to do, you know, something for the fall, something that had a little tempo to it. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do something with two ladies that I love. Wow. Like, I love me some young Miami. Uh-huh. I love Cash Doll. That's like my friend. Like, I love her. Wow. Okay. So, I'm just excited to be able to do that for the ladies. You know, I always give you a street record first. Right. Then I do you singing record. Yeah, we need some ballads from you. Yeah, you know we no, need we that. Yeah, we got some singing records coming. Because you can sing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got some sing. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about, man. Okay, Michelle. So I, I love that you just said that you love Cash Doll. You love working with these ladies. I love to see women, especially mm -hmm. our women of color, working yes. together yes. and just breaking these records. But one thing you just said, Cash Doll, y'all are cool. Y'all have like a similar honest like energy. I love it. Oh, my God. Yeah, that that I met <clears throat> Cash probably about two years ago here in Atlanta. She mm -hmm. came by the studio. We chopped it up, and I knew from talking to her that she was a star. Mm. And we became cool ever since then. As far as checking on me, yeah, people I thought would check on me through, like, that surgery I had yeah, and everything, Cash Doll checked on me. Wow. You know, Trina checked on me. Okay. There's certain people. Yeah. So And that list got shorter than way shorter than what you expected, the right? The bills I paid didn't. Mm, that's crazy. So does that? how does that, like, change the way you move? Bad. Mm. Bad because I'd be so open at first. Yeah. And you'd be like, maybe I need to just not be as helpful. Mm -hmm. I'm not as open with people. Yeah. Because every time I open up, then it's like. And there's never enough when people feel that entitlement. Nah, like, you're no, supposed to do this. Yeah. Don't say no. They forget all the time you say yes, huh? Mm hmm. Mm. Look at they you do. growing up. I'm just kidding. A little bit. Gabe <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michelle right here, man. We're talking about this record now. Was it was it something that you had already and then you just sent it to them or y'all was all kicking it? Like, how did it come about? We want to know the process. I'm going to tell you the truth. Superhood, um, I just want to have fun. I ain't want to mm -hmm. cry over no nigga. Okay. No, nah, you good. So come I on, talk to me. We talking. No nigga, like that. <laughs> so I ended up just saying, let's play, let's play something. Let's make something. Mm -hmm. Now they made the beat, we sang on it or whatever. The record, I wrote the record about Block Boy. Yeah. Block Boy JB. Uh huh. Cause he was gonna do it. Yeah. And you know, he was flirting and I had to do. So it didn't like, it, it wasn't working. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't working. 
<laughs> so I wrote the record, and you still, that's why it's like night on one on my phone coming through. Yeah. Young nigga street dude, 22. Yeah. You know, because I had wrote it to put now him on Now it made it. sense. I got you. Yeah, she, I had wrote it to put him on <clears> it. <throat> mm-hmm. But I said, no, nah, man, this seemed like something for the ladies. Yeah. So that's what I did. And then you was trying to do it for the home state, too. I feel you on all that. I need a I definitely feel you. I so, think I got one on the album. I just got to gather up everybody from I, Memphis. That's what I want to know. Who is on, like, the all-star Memphis record? Because, like, we just had one music fest, right? And they had the uh, Flo Rida takeover. So he bought out, like, Luke, T-Pain. Mm-hmm. He bought out everybody, Trina, everybody from Florida that you okay. could think of. So, like, if the you Memphis have takeover. a Memphis takeover, who's coming? Oh, baby. Uh, it's you. <laughs> 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 you know who's coming? Um, Juicy Fruit. Mm. She's new. New. That girl's amazing. Okay. Every time I say somebody's going to go, I swear to God, they always go. She reminds me a lot of myself being hungry and grinding in mm-hmm. Memphis. Yeah. Gifted and right to own music. Okay. Now, when I'll you say her, it, it's true because you definitely do all that. Yep. I'll bring her. I'll bring my brother, Gotti. That's my brother for life. Right. Has tried to sign me even before any deal. Mm-hmm. We like this. Gotti. I'm going to bring Block Boy. Love him. I'm going to bring Money Bag. Love him. Yeah. Um, we might lead the other one. Might lead the other one. I, I need you to bring. Mafia. Okay. Uh, Juicy. I, and and Juicy I don't know. Glow. I don't know what y'all relationship, but you gotta bring Eight Ball and MJG. Oh, definitely. I don't mean lead them out here. Right. No, I, I, <laughs> I, no, no, no. Play a fly. Eight Ball yeah. and MJG. Never, never. No disrespect. Gangsta Boo. Like I'm bringing Facts. all of them. Like I, I love all the Memphis artists that are good. That's dope. I seen Play a Fly the other day too. I be seeing him at the weirdest spots. Like, He's I was so coming out of foot me. action. He was coming out of tire shop or whatever. I was like, uh-huh. bro, that's play or fly. It mm-hmm. all about start singing down to me, all that. We're going to get back to the business right now, man. Yeah, I'll kick it with uh, K. Michelle, man. And uh, I want to get back to the song with you and Cash Doll and Young Miami. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hood. So, Super Hood, the record is going crazy. Yeah. And, uh, man, you just bringing that hot girl summer, that black girl magic all across man, that, man. Yeah, we got to do it, man. These dudes out here be trying to kill us. They be trying to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> no nah, man. Y'all evil as fuck, my nigga. Like, oh, you sound like you got a personal story behind this. Nope, I just don't like men. Really? They creep me out. I don't like it. Oh, man. That's bad. I'm, I'm like, feel bad to hear that as a father Every time with daughter. I see a man, I think he's trying to do something to me. For I real? don't like him. So, how do you get past that? I like, don't. How do you I tell get them, past? I don't like you. Yeah. I'm going to get past it. I just say it. Well, I'm glad you didn't say that to me. I'm not trying to get I you. called you handsome. You did. And now it's on camera, so everybody was going to believe me. Because nobody's going to believe me. Yeah, nobody's going to believe me. You're that. handsome. I appreciate that. I mean, the devil was attractive, too. Oh, my God. That's what we going to do? <laughs> so was Jesus. Say- <laughs> <laughs> you heard that? That was the shadiest, backhandedest compliment ever. But I appreciate it. I take it. Because I got selective hearing. So it was cool. They said Jesus was cute, too. I take that. <laughs> All right, that's what you thought I said. Hey, man, I'll, just play. I'll just play. I'll just play. Michelle right here. We kicking it. T- like, wh- how, where, how do you maneuver in this type of industry with mm-hmm. that type of sentiment, though? You know uh, what I'm saying? Don't stay, stay away from me. Mm. Stay away from me. I had men in this industry lie on me. They've never been in the same room with me. Mm-hmm. They had all type of shit about me. They never even been around me. Yeah. They evil. I, I don't it. move in this business. I like to stay at home in my stage. Mm-hmm. I do that. No, like you gotta babies. break. You know That's you gotta, why I got baby yeah. imagery. I like babies. I like innocence. I like nice people. So when it comes to this business, I'm very. Um, I don't do red carpets because I don't like people asking me a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. Like what you got on? That's none of your business. Just as long like, as it look nice on you, don't worry about it. Yeah. Right. Why does it matter who name is on some stuff? I. Some stuff I just don't even play with. Right. I was just and saying that this morning. Good. Yeah, I was just saying that this morning. Like, just be comfortable with who you are. Be real, real intact with what you need to be focused on. This you know what I'm saying? Like, that. I just be focused on family, helping people, and working hard. Try, just trying to outwork myself. I ain't worried about nobody else. You I see kids? that. So, yeah, I got three daughters. So when you oh. say stuff like that, like, to Ooh. me, when you say stuff like that, to me, when you, like, uh, men scare you, men, you know, I put you in a, a certain mind frame. It's kind of disheartening for me as a man with daughters because I could see how that could happen. Don't let that become them. Right. Like, a lot of mine isn't just my story. It's mm. just everybody's story. Like, her yeah. story, her story, mm. this story. It's every woman's story because they come to me with it. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. 
I know too much. And it's like you can't unsee something yeah. that you've seen. And I you got a voice. That these niggas out here need to be put on an island mm. alone. And you got a voice. So being is almost like a, a a barrel to catch all this information and all these things. Do you feel obligated to put that in your music? Because you got a platform. I feel obligated to tell them the truth mm. about how I feel. Right. My opinions are not a you know not the Bible. Right. It's just but how it's your I feel. opinion. It's important because you gain it off a perspective of knowledge. I tell them the truth. I tell them how I feel in that moment about life mm-hmm. and what I've learned. Either they can take it or they can't. Mm-hmm. They shouldn't take everything from me. Right. You gotta take what works for you and then yeah. keep it moving. But they should not walk down some paths that I've walked down. Yeah. But we all hard headed. We have yeah. to do it ourselves. Yeah. You yeah. know? Absolutely. I definitely understand. That's words of wisdom from K Michelle right there. Uh when she drops the book, I just want you to just put me on a little Ooh, credit. I think I need like, a book too. Yeah. You I think you need a book. Job, I think you need a book though. Cause if you if you if you are that person that accepts that from other people, like, cause you the shoulder, it sounds like. Yeah. Am I wrong? You just gave me a title. Okay, there you go. The shoulder. And uh, if <laughs> if you catching all the information, I feel like you might need to put your perspective on it because you may be able to help some people through. Because I'm sure you're helping the people around you. Yeah, like, just like that's my whole thing, though. Like, even with singing, like, I always be like, is that going to heal them? Oh, I could have wrote them. When writing, I mm-hmm. always think about that. No, you really need to get it out there. And people can judge me right now for what I'm going to say. I don't care. Mm-hmm. My mentor, Robert Kelly, literally showed me everything. Mm-hmm. Everything about writing. Right. And I just remember him saying, you don't have but 30 minutes, three minutes and 30 seconds to write a song. Right. To tell a whole movie. You don't got an hour. Yeah. You got you three put minutes and 30 seconds. Condensed amount of information and make a point. And help them. <clears throat> That's why songwriters make the best movie scripts. Because mm-hmm. you be able to get to the point real quick. Absolutely. But I don't think, I think that people love to take things out of context. And I definitely understand what you're saying. So right now you're saying you took something from a person who's good at what they do yeah. and they were able to translate that for you and help your life and your Thank situation. You. And, you know, somewhere else it would be like, oh, okay, Michelle, da 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 I'll do clickbait no, interviews. I just do, I, wrong, right is right, wrong is wrong. It is right. what it is. I don't have a heaven or a hell to put that man in. Right. So, but I do know for my music career, yeah, that was the only person who believed in me. Yeah. And taught me how to write a song mm. to heal people. Taught me that every word, was important down to the very last lyric. Wow. So when I'm writing for women to heal them, like you asked, yeah. I'm I'm writing in the sense of I need you to feel exactly mm-hmm. what I went through. Gotcha. So I might change the word. It might fit, but I want you to feel it. What yeah. word's going to hit? Well, you you hear it, you can see it. Yes. You can see what happened to yeah, me. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. That's that creative integrity as well as intensity. Yeah. That you put through in your song. And I think that's why people cry, laugh, <laughs> break down, all that when they hear your music. They do. I'm everybody's favorite sister, <laughs> aunt, ex-wife, all of you. Right. You feel like family when you listen to her music. I'm not going to hold you up because I don't want to be one of them long interviews asking you too many <laughs> questions. <laughs> but I do surely appreciate you coming by the studio, sharing your opening up, you know what I mean? And, sh- and sharing your story and giving us some dope music for the end of this summer because it's still hot. Yeah. I, gu- I guess the sun stayed up because they knew you was about to drop this record. Sure did. <laughs> Super hood, but you can take this one into the fall because it's going to be fuckboy fall. So I thought it was fly nigga we fall. To show them. No, it's fuckboy fall. <laughs> I don't fall so into that category. We're going to show so. them still what type of dude is required and the necessities and the different things, the requirements we need. Okay, what are those requirements? Give me it seven requirements. Be and dress. Right. I've grown. You've grown. I would never. Right. Okay, now it's bald heads and beards. I feel you. I ain't I mad at that. <laughs> that's what you said. That's all I'm saying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not biased at all. <laughs> what you want, seven, I think. Give me seven. Um, like well, first, okay. So we coming yeah. out of we coming out of hot hot summer, right? Okay. So it's almost cuffing season. Okay. How does a dude approach K Michelle? Don't. Okay. Well, it's I'm saying happening. like if 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 <laughs> it's not somebody happening. wants it your attention, me so bad it would never happen. What would be your ideal situation though? Like if a dude was the the proper way to approach, don't a woman then. Okay, a woman. Um, women be tired. All of them tired seem like to be. But if I just gotta walk up with like I just like gotta walk up with like a massage coupon. Be like, here, go to massage. That probably will work. That probably will work, right? Hi, you. You know. Yeah, free massage. If you want, hit me up later. But just say <laughs> hey to her. You know, it's still 
it still can be traditional. Like, hey, how you doing? Okay. You know, you look nice, like, or whatever. Right. I don't think it's like a way to do it because it, all women are different. Right, right, right. I get that. I get that. Yeah. Right, I get that. Okay, so give me seven things men need to be doing out here. Oh, taking care of their kids. One down pat. Going okay. to work. Okay. Keeping their sausages in their pants because okay. there's too many STDs. A lot of those out there. Um, Going to church, loving God. Mm. Like, they skip over that part because if he don't love God, he can't even love you. Right. Whatever you believe in, make sure that it's something, you know, it's something greater than you. And what else do they need to have? Um, accountability. I'm going to add that in there. Accountability. Because a lot of That's us are missing real. that. Yeah. You're yeah. right. Accountability and consistency. There it is, consistency. I like that. Okay, then that's the list. Make sure, fellas, y'all write that down <laughs> when it get cold. I don't want y'all left out there in it. Your boy Reese right here. I appreciate you coming by. Thank you, Reese. I enjoyed you. There it is. And bringing the baby to the baby.